hi guys in this quick tutorial i will show you how we can change our logo color when you scroll as you can see if i scroll our logo is turning white from black so i will show you how we can do this so there is a tons of method to do this but i will show the easiest method so i think the svg method is little bit complicated for general person like me i will use png logos to achieve this so let's get started so let's remove our header first so we will create it from blank as you can see we have no header currently so let's add a section or design your header in my case i will just use a menu and a logo you can design just like you want so for our menu let's add a nav menu and for the pointer let's choose done and make it right aligned you can change the color and font size as well and for the logo we will use an image widget and upload your logo so first of all choose our black logo and let's set a background color for our header first of all let's in our case it will be white you can choose whatever color you want and let's give it a z index to a little bit higher value so that our header plays on top of every content and go to this motion effect sticky top so our header will be sticky when we scroll so let's refresh so if we scroll our header is sticky now perfect so now let's change our logo color so this is very easy you just need to duplicate our existing logo and upload our white one in here so this logo should be exactly same size that will be better so this is our white logo and let's add a class to our black logo so let's add a logo let's say logo underscore show so that will be visible by default and for this one let's say logo underscore height let's save this refresh as you can see this is what it looks like currently so let's add some css to achieve this so the class of our white logo was logo underscore height so we'll initially hide this logo so logo underscore height let's set this display to none and it will hide our white logo by default so if i inspect our header this is our header section and if we scroll as you can see something is changing in our header section so some css class some styling option is added so we have to target that specific class that has been added when we scroll so the class is elementor sticky active so we need to target that elementor sticky active class so let's copy this elementor sticky active so when this is sticky active class is visible we need to hide our black logo and show the white one okay so just let's cop add this elementary sticky active logo underscore show this was the class for our black logo so we will hide it by default perfect and let's duplicate it and we need to show our logo hide or the white logo when we scroll so this will be display block and let's save this so now if we scroll as you can see our black logo is changing into white so this is how we can do it so the white logo is not looking good on the white background so we can change the background color as well so that is very easy as well so let's target that sticky active class so this is the class for our section so when we scroll our header will turn into black so we'll set a background to like this color and we'll add an important tag so that it overrides to our default value 
So let's save. Let's refresh. Now if we scroll as you can see our background is also changing to black and now our white logo is visible. But our menu item is now hidden because the color of our menu item was black. So you can also set a CSS class to make this white. So let's do this. So when this class is active, we want all these a class color to be let's say white and let's add an important class as well perfect so let's save this now if we scroll as you can see all of our paste color is now white but the active paste color is also white now so you can also define or change this active page color so if we inspect our active page as you can see we have a class called elementor item active so we can just target that so if our sticky class is active we want our elementor item active color to something like red for example so let's save this and let's refresh now as you can see our active page color is turned into red so this is the easiest or quickest methods to change our color of our logo so i hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and i'll see you in the next video